Before we get started with the video, I'd like to apologize for all the worrying in the background. That was my air conditioner. Hey guys, what's up? It's Isaac here, and today we are going to be doing episode 6 of Down the Road, where we explain all the generations of a certain product line and see how that line has evolved over years. So today we're going to be going down the road of the LG G series. So the G series hasn't been around for as long, sorry, has not been around for as long as something like the Galaxy S series or even the iPhones. Um, I, it's only been around since 2012, but how has it evolved? That's what we're going to find out. So the original LG G was not even just called LG G, it was called LG Optimus G. Um, and the LG Optimus G was released on September 19th of 2012, and LG really took a weird approach with this. It had, an, it had a glass of metal back, um, and it looked pretty nice, you know, but it, LG didn't really throw it out to the public that much. Um, it did, it, they didn't really, um, they, and they only offered it on two carriers in the U.S., which was um, AT&T and Sprint. They did not offer it on Verizon or T-Mobile, so... Um, yeah, they kind of took a weird approach with it, and they didn't really make it that public. They they didn't they didn't make it seem like it was a real flagship, even though it was. And then um, about a year later, we get the LG G2. So the G2 was released on September 12th of 2013, and it was a lot different from the Optimus G. It took away the glass back, um, but I guess that might be kind of a good thing because that increases durability. And it swapped the volume buttons and the power button from the sides to the back, which was kind of weird because normally you always see those buttons on the sides. But LG decided to put them on the back, um, which I think is kind of which I think is kind of weird and also kind of a pain in the butt to reach because like. But they did. But for turning off the screen, they did. Um, they did have a double tap double tap gesture feature, so they can so you can just turn it off by double tapping the screen, which was a lot easier than just reaching your finger to press the power button. Um, and they didn't even have fingerprint sensor, so I don't really know why they put it on the back. LG was late to the fingerprint sensor game with the G series. Um, pretty much all of their phones, they were late to the fingerprint sensor game. Um, and then, uh, and then a little, and then a little less than a year later, we get the LG G3. So the G3 was released on May 28th of 2014, and it was, and it, and it definitely, um, was a lot it was different from the G2 in a lot of ways. Of course, it added it added the new LG UI skin, so well, so um, the theme looked a little bit different. It looked a slightly more like stock Android, but it still had, still had LG's customizations. Um, and it also had the um, it also uh, was it also felt felt somewhat more plasticky, but also somewhat more. Pretty. It was it what was weird. What does that mean? But, um, and they also, um, and then, and then, a little less than a year later, we get the LG G4. So the G4 was released on April 29th of 2015, and it added a few things. It added, like, customizing it to get a leather back or a metal back. Um, it's nice that you can find, that you can have a leather back, which the G3 didn't have. It was kind of cool to get that. Um, and it also, um, was, it was slightly bigger but are you sure about really that much of a difference in size um it felt and it felt a lot more curved it felt like the g flex a little bit more um which was interesting but and it also was i don't know it was just the g4 was just kind of kind of interesting i think the g4 might have been my favorite might have been my favorite lg lg device not sure but and then about a year later we get the lg g5 so the G5 was released on April 23rd of 2016, and it was kind of considered the flop. What was that in face? The, um, in the LG G line, because it didn't sell as well as as any of the others before it. Um, it had this weird modular, um, like it, like for taking out the battery. So like, so like um, the battery, you take it out from the bottom of the phone. You wouldn't take just the back off. Which was strange because nobody's ever done that before. It was LG's take on a modular smartphone, but it wasn't really modular. Like you're not like changing the design of the phone, which is strange. So like, is there really that much sense? Is there really that much sense to it? Um, and it's a weird place to hide the battery. Like why would you put it in the bottom of the phone? Um, 
why don't you just make it fully internal or just um, have it as a normal back like you did with the G4 or G3. So it was strange. But it also added a few other things like the fingerprint sensor um, and uh, the no app drawer, which was kind of stupid. But why would you remove the app drawer? Like, and it moved the volume buttons from the back to the side, which is which a lot of people liked more than than it being on the back on the G4. Um, but yeah, and um, and and then um, just a couple months ago, we got the LG G6. So the G6 was released on April 7th of 2017, and it and the G6 is way much bigger than the G5. It had it upgraded from a 5.3 inch screen to a 5.7 inch screen so and it has less bezels so kind of like the galaxy s8 but it doesn't but it still has a bit more bezel than the s8 um and uh it's kind of it's kind of strange because like the um the s8 has it has super tiny bezels of course the g6 doesn't have that edge screen or anything so um it's, it's understandable why it has slight side bezel but yeah um, but it added a few things that the G5 didn't have, like like the IP68 waterproof rating, as well as the as it brought back the glass back, which we, which we didn't see since the Optimus G, um, and it also uh, added the it also um, and it still has a headphone jack, thank God, um, for compared to others like iPhone 7 Current. and waterproof. And you HTC Ultra. Eh, that phone sucks anyways. And there's also the U11. And Moto Z for Bluetooth for and USB-C. Um, but, uh, yeah, and the G6, I think it's really nice, and I really like it. I think it, I think the G6 is really premium, um, and I also like, I also like just, but it also, but it also got rid of the removable battery, which, I mean, I guess is okay, because, like, um, because, like, is there any point for a removable battery? I mean, it is if it's like a quick way to restart your phone and you can't really do anything else. Um, but, hello, hard reset. If you have an iPhone, you're used to it. Yeah. So that is going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget don't forget to, um, don't forget to, um, subscribe, uh, down below. Uh, it, and it doesn't take that long. People think that, hey, I'm watching on mobile, I can't subscribe. Yes, you can. Just tap the subscribe button. That's all you gotta do. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.